Section Eritrea! Section Eritrea! Section Eritrea! Section Eritrea! Stop the genocide in Tigray now! together to organize this rally and show you how much I care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The decision to wage war against the people of Tigray started in November 2020. On the night of the election in this country, when the world was focused on who was going to be the new president of the USA. The beginning of the war was very calculated. The West was happy that Trump was out of power and celebrating that victory. And meanwhile, Ami Ahmed, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, having just won the Nobel Peace Prize for brokering a peace deal with Eritrea, was now working hand in hand with the Eritreans to devastate the region of Tigray and eradicate its people and its land. This is what a genocide is, an erasure of a people. Many thousands of people have been murdered Rape is being used as a weapon of war on women and girls. There is evidence of chemical warfare against the people of Tigray. And the Eritrean army has methodically traveled through Tigray, burning the crops of the farmers, and stealing and killing their livestock. Hospitals and religious buildings were the first thing to be bombed and destroyed. And hundreds, probably thousands of young men have been rounded up by the Eritrean and Ethiopian troops saying, we'll see if America will save you now. There have been as many as two million people forced from their homes who are now living in the mountains or in displacement camps or who have fled across the border into Sudan looking for safety. That's two million people in less than seven months. A quote from a young person in Tigray recorded recently by CNN said, they take us out one by one and torture us. This is the third time I've been beaten by soldiers like this. People here start running and are scared every time they see someone wearing a military uniform. The world has to hear our cries and do something. We are living in terror. And it is true, people are living in terror. Not only in Tigray, but the families of those living here in the diaspora who haven't heard from their family members for months and months now. My daughter tells me she is glued to the news because when there is coverage on TV, she needs to look to see if her brother or aunt or cousin is one of those who has been shot dead and thrown off the cliff. 
I never thought I would have to be doing this. My brain is really unable to process the Tigre, where every time I visit, I am treated with kindness, love and care, would be at the brink of starvation. There's over 5.2 million people at the brink of starvation. It is estimated that over 90% of the harvest has been lost due to looting and burning, and that 80% of the livestock has been looted or slaughtered. The United Nations has warned that 91% of the people of Tigray need emergency food aid now if a man-made famine is to be avoided. My daughter has always been a fighter. She had to be to survive. She has now become an organizer, an activist, a leader, a role model for the people of Tigray here in the US and for people throughout the world. Yes. Yeah. Where, is Where is she? Where are you? Meron. 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 Alex. Alex. Alex, yeah, I am Meron. so proud of her. I am so proud of you. You are the voice of the people. Yes, Meron. You are the voice of the people. You are the voice of the people of Tigray. And I have no doubt that your activism and those of your brothers and sisters have brought to the attention of the world what is going on in Tigray. Thank you, there are hundreds of thousands of people like you throughout the world now fighting for the end to this war. There will be an end to this war and there will be a day in the future when the leaders of Ethiopia and Eritrea have to face up to the horrific crimes that have taken place in their name. Tigray will prevail! Tigray will prevail! Tigray will prevail! Tigray will prevail! End the war! End the war! Office here today, Beth Owaite. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for attending and representing the senator. In the early days of the conflict back in December, Bernie's international policy advisor worked with us, looking at the role of the UAE in the drone strikes in McKelly. We thank you for the work your office is doing, Beth, to raise the issues of this genocide and hope that Senator Saunders will continue to fight for the people of Tigray and exert his influence to bring an end to genocide. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We yeah, appreciate you. We also have a statement from Senator Leahy, who couldn't be here today. Uh, my friend Abby is gonna read that out. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands. Uh, thank you all for coming today uh, to support the end, uh, to end the, the, the call to end the atrocity in Tigray. Uh, my uh, Tagaru friends here, uh, I am a Tigrayan who lives here in, in Vermont. Probably Ooh. the old Tigrayan. Woo! Represent, represent, uh, represent. A few, a few uh, other people. Uh, so I have uh, been given a letter from uh, Senator Leahy, he's the second senator here, uh, and I'll read that uh, uh, letter to, to you. Uh, it's a statement uh, of Senator Leahy on the situation in Tigray, Ethiopia, June 5, June 5, uh, 2020. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, of course, sir. Yeah, thank you. Um, he writes, I vividly recall uh, the shocking images back in 1984 uh, of a million uh, emaciated Ethiopian men, women, and children, uh, many of uh, them uh, from Tigray. Okay, let me change that. Then. Okay. Um, who had fled uh, uh, to the country amidst of 
Okay. Amidst of massive uh, famine caused by prolonged drought, uh, widespread food shortages and discriminatory uh, government policies. Eventually, the rain returned and the refugee went home. But the, the country has been plagued by periods of conflict and food insecurity ever since. Today, the people of Tigray are being subjected to human rights atrocities on an appalling scale. And they are being denied urgently needed humanitarian aid, aid that is being blocked by Ethiopian and Eritrean militaries, as well as other uh, armed groups. Despite significant diplomatic efforts by the United States and others, the parties to the conflict in Tigray have been uh, have taken no meaningful steps to end the hostilities or seek uh, a peaceful resolution of the conflict. The United States government has condemned the killings, the forced removals, sexual violence, and other human rights violations, as well as the destruction of water resources, hospitals, and other medical facilities in Tigray. Our government has called on the Ethiopian government to meet its public commitment to hold accountable those responsible for those crimes, to protect civilians, and to ensure humanitarian access. The Eritrean government also should live up to its public commitment and immediately return its troops to Eritrean territory. The terrible reality today is that famine, crime against humanity, and genocide are occurring in Tigray. And they are occurring uh, for one reason, the, for one reason, the uh, complicity of government officials in Addis and Asmara, that's in Eritrea. In fact, there are uh, reports that the situation in Tigray could be worse than uh, in Darfur. So I join, I join with you in calling for an end to uh, the atrocities and uh, an end to the uh, blockades of food and other humanitarian aid. A dialogue uh, to resolve the conflict peacefully and justice, justice for civilians who have been the victims of atrocities. The history of Ethiopia has shown that there is no resolution to its uh, ethnic uh, rivalries by force of arms. The only solution is one based on tolerance and uh, recognition of the rights and aspirations of, of all Ethiopians. This is uh, a letter from Senator Leahy. Thank you, Senator Leahy. Thank you. Thank you. Is Jitan still here? Jitan, come on up. Welcome, I've been with me, guys. Thank you. This is the first time I'm speaking in front of this thing, and I always wanted to do this. And thank you. Uh, welcome to Burlington. I am from here. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about who I am. I am from Bhutan. Uh, it's a small country in, uh, near India, Nepal, and I, when I was one year old, I had to witness the ethnic cleansing in my country, and my people were killed, they were raped, and exactly what is happening in, in Tigray that had happened to me when I was one year old. And now I regret it that I wish I could be, you know, older, I could have speak up like my dad did and who was uh, listed as on a blacklist and couldn't come see me even I was, after I was born for six months and first time he saw me was when I was 15 months old when we were in Nepal in a refugee camp and because of what happened then our people are still suffering all the trauma and all the things that are happened to them. My grandfather still goes through the pain. They still wake up in the middle of the night dreaming their homeland, their country, their people. And if we are silent today, if we don't speak up, then we are letting the government do whatever the fuck they want to do. They don't care. They don't really care because they are in the position of the power 
and that's why they're doing it. They're killing it people and they're trying to hide this and suppress our voice. And I don't want it to be that voice. I want my voice to be heard. I want that one person and I, I want to be that one person and I know more people will join, more people will come and this won't last for long. Ooh, this needs to yes. end. Yes. Genocide in Tigray needs to end today, now. No more, enough is enough. And thank you all for coming to a small city here in Burlington. I know you guys drove all the way from Boston and I'm really happy that you guys come in. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, do you have someone? No, I think we get right now. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to Allison for organizing this. So, kind of everybody, give her a shout out. A shout out. A shout out. A shout out to Allison. Also to her friends who just told us about his experience. Also the representatives from Bernie Sanders. Uh, all the from Peter Tash. Senator, Senator, Senator Leahy, so we just want to say thank you so much for using uh, your platform, using your power to speak on behalf of uh, Tigray to end the ongoing genocide and uh, to end the uh, rape, to end the systemic hunger. Uh, Tigray cannot wait. It's been seven months and if we remain silent and if we don't challenge all the world leaders to take action now, then when? So now is our time to let the world know to stop this genocide and we don't want this to happen again, especially in the 21st century, in 2021. So I just want to say thank you so much to the people of Burlington for welcoming us and for being a voice and uh, we will definitely come back again. Good. Yeah. Well, one more speaker, and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to march back up the street. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, use that one. Do you want to use this one? I don't know. Hello, everybody. I would like to thank the Miron's family who organized this wonderful and uh, being here with them is very... Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, I would like to thank the Meron's family and the Burlington uh, community for organizing uh, this uh, uh, meeting that we came from uh, Boston in order to uh, voice for the voiceless uh, in Tigray. So uh, thank you so much for organizing this meeting. And I would also like to thank all uh, Tagaru who came to participate in this rally, in this uh, demonstration, uh, to be the voice of the voiceless in Tigray. Tigray will prevail. We will uh, we'll continue our uh, fighting to uh, the end in order to uh, succeed our mission. So we are here to also to pass our voice uh, to ask the U.S. government, uh, especially the President of the United States, who started moving a little bit forward in order to understand the problem in Tigray and help in Tigray, also sanctioning the uh, people who uh, committed the atrocities in Tigray. But it is not enough. That's why we are we continuing to fight until the end. We are, we are demanding the President of the United States of America to take action to take action against Eritrea, to take action against uh, Ethiopia, uh, not action, simply action, it is the military action. This is the final stage. We need to take be taken a military action in order to uh, move or remove the trans uh, soldiers from Tigray. So uh, still, still the world has no Tigray where is it and what type of atrocities are going on in that, that in order to solve the problem, correctly and finally we need action military action meaning that no fly zone no uh, military equipment uh, sailing and also uh, we want to be striking their transforces uh, in tigray in order to uh, remove them from tigray 
So we are still continuing to ask the American government, the United Nations, and the whole European Union in order to take concrete action in order to end the hunger cities, the hunger and the genocide and the rape. So thank you to everybody for participating in this meeting. The cry will prevail. Thank <laughs> you. 